Hi, this is Robert Quimby, and I'm going to tell you about propagating uncertainties. So as astronomers, you're going to go out and you're going to take measurements of the universe, and you're going to combine those measurements to derive some results. Now, your measurements, as always, are going to have uncertainties associated with them, so you have to know how to propagate those uncertainties from your measurements to your final results so you can get an uncertainty for your result. So we're going to talk about this in this tutorial. Uh, this process involves taking partial derivatives, uh, so we're going to give a quick review of that. And then we're going to give the, um, the formal uncertainty propagation formula and see how to use this to um, take your derived um, expression and calculate uncertainty in it. And we'll give a couple examples of this just to get you going. Uh, so as always, this is not going to be a complete in-depth uh, discussion of this topic. Uh, if you want to know, know more information, there are some nice resources out there. Data and uh, data reduction and error analysis for the physical sciences is a classic reference by Bevington and Robinson. And there's also uh, an introduction to error analysis by Taylor. So check those out for more information. All right, so here's the basic uh, issue is that you've gone out and you have a, a collection of measurements. And we're going to assume throughout this tutorial that they have uncertainties that are random and independent. So the in there's no correlation between the uncertainty of one parameter and the uncertainty in some other parameter, uh, some other measurement. Uh, so you're going to use these to derive some result, and then you want to figure out what is the uncertainty uh, in the result, given the uncertainties in your measurements. Uh, so just a classic example of this, let's say you're calculating the area of a rectangle. So you can go and you can measure the width and the height. You can't directly measure the, the area, but you can measure the width and the height. And those measurements are going to have some uncertainty in it. So you can multiply those together to get the area, but what is the uncertainty going to be in the area of um, that rectangle. Well, this is going to depend on your uncertainty measurements, and you can calculate this um, using uncertainty propagation. Um, so this is often called error propagation. I'm going to shy away from the term error um, because that may be confused with a, a mistake. You've made some mistake in your measurements and you want to know how to propagate that. But that's not usually the case. Usually you've done the measurements as best as you can. You haven't made any mistakes as far as you know. Uh, but still, you know that there's going to be some random uncertainty in there. So I'm going to use uncertainty propagation, but if you look this up online, it's often going to be referred to as error propagation. So this is the generic solution to that problem. Uh, you have a function. We're going to call that function f. It's going to have several variables. You can call those whatever you want. I'm just calling them here x0, 1, all the way up to x, n minus 1. And we're going to assume that these, these basically correspond to your, your measurements, and this is your derived property, you know, the area in the example we just gave before. Uh, each one of these parameters, maybe they're measurements, maybe they're something else, has some uncertainty in it. And these are those uncertainties, these sigma terms, sigma x0, sigma x1, sigma x n minus 1. And given these uncertainties and whatever this functional form is relating uh, these, these parameters, um, you want to calculate what the uncertainty in your final result is. And this is how you do that. So you take this big square root of these terms squared, and each one of these terms is a partial, de partial derivative of your function with respect to one of those variables multiplied by the uncertainty in that variable. And you square it, add all them together, take the square roots, and that's your final uncertainty. So, it, this involves partial derivatives. I just want to give you a quick reminder of how you calculate partial derivatives. Uh, so let's just say you have a, fun a function that has uh, multiple variables. could have two or more. Um, let's call them x, y, and z in this case. And you want to calculate the partial derivative of this function with respect to one of these variables. Let's call it x. So the way you do that is essentially you just take the derivative, as you normally would do, for a function, and you hold these other variables constant. You just treat them as constant values. So for a specific example, let's say you have a function of two variables, x and y, and the function is given by this expression here, ax plus bxy plus cy, and you want to calculate the partial derivative. So you have two partial derivatives, one with respect to x, one with respect to y, and you can calculate these just by holding the other variable constant. Uh, so And there's also these constants a, b, and c in here, which are you treat just like you always do. So if we want to calculate that partial derivative with respect to x, we take our expression here, we hold y constant, 
And so we take the partial derivative of each one of these terms since it's uh, addition. This is uh, the, partial, the derivative of this with respect to x is just a. Drif derivative of bxy with respect to x is by. And the derivative of cy with respect to x is 0. So our partial derivative of f with respect to x is a plus by. And very similar, we can do the same for uh, the partial derivative with respect to y. Uh, this term becomes 0. There's no y in it. This one becomes um, the derivative of this with respect to y is just bx. And the derivative of this with respect to y is just c. So the partial derivative is bx plus c. Uh, so you can use this. Uh, this is a very uh, trivial example, um, but this works uh, for any type of uh, expression you have. Same basic rules, just take the derivative, hold the other variables constant. All right, so now we can use this and we can get a, um, uh, we can determine what the uncertainty is in some derived parameter uh, with different types of expressions. So we're going to start with addition, just a plus b. So you have two variables, f is a function of two variables, a and b. What is the uncertainty in f, given uncertainty sigma a and sigma b? Well, we use our uncertainty propagation formula. We take the partial derivatives with respect to a, multiply it by the uncertainty in a, square it, and then do the same thing for b, square it, square root of the whole thing, and that's our result, our, our uncertainty in our result. Uh, we can calculate those partial derivatives pretty trivially. The derivative with respect to a is just 1. The derivative with respect to b is just 1. And so this reduces to square root of sigma a squared plus sigma b squared. So this should be a familiar result to you. Uh, you should spend a little bit of time and think about what would happen if this was f equals a minus b, right? And the short answer is that, okay, derivative with respect to a doesn't change, it's still 1. Derivative with, res derivative with respect to b, the partial derivative with respect to b does change, it turns into minus 1. But you're going to put minus 1 in this expression, which is going to be squared, so it's going to end up getting rid of that sign, and you're going to end up with the same result as always. So addition and subtraction have the same error formula. What about multiplication? Well, this is the question that we started off with. So let's say we have that uh, area. Uh, we have that rectangle with sides length a and b, uncertainty sigma a, sigma b, and we want to calculate the area, f. What is the uncertainty in that area? Well, we do the same thing before. We take the derivative with respect to a, and that's just b, and derivative with respect to b, and that's just a. Put that in our error propagation formula, and this is what we get. b squared sigma a squared plus a squared sigma b squared, all square rooted. All right. I'll give you one more example. This is for division. So now we have uh, a function which is a divided by b. And if there's uncertainty sigma a and sigma b in those parameters, what's the uncertainty in, in f, sigma f? Again, we calculate partial derivatives. a is easy. It's just the um, 1 over b. That's the partial derivative of f with respect to a. Partial derivative with respect to b is a little bit more tricky, but you can just use your standard uh, derivative rules to get this. It turns out to be negative a divided by b squared. And you can put this together, and this is your final result for the uncertainty when you have division. Uh, make sure this, this makes sense to you. And also consider how this relates to, um, to multiplication. Because you, you know that addition and subtraction are related, and they have a very similar error formula, the exact same error formula. But if you look at this expression here, and you go back and you look at what we had for multiplication, you might at first glance think, well, these are very different. Right? How can that be? Isn't division and multiplication, aren't they related? Well, it turns out they are related. And I'm going to leave this as an exercise for the viewer to figure out, but you can actually express this uncertainty as a fractional uncertainty, so the uncertainty divided by, by the function. And for both of these, this is the result. For both multiplication and division, you get the same result here. So make sure you can derive this. And then uh, once you've gotten these uh, simple kind of trivial um, functions down, this just using a addition, multiplication, and subtraction, you can go on and you can try out uh, more advanced functions. Get, if you have uh, exponents or logarithms uh, or, or more, co more complicated uh, combinations of different terms, uh, you can, all of these you can use that same error propagation formula and you can calculate your final result. So go ahead and do that and enjoy.